Peru News Today, all you need to know about Peru. Landmine explosion injures too. The accident occurred in the Peru-Chile border, where tens of thousands of mines were laid during Pinochet's dictatorship. On Monday two Peruvian men were illegally walking across the border from Chile into Peru through an unauthorized crossing when a landmine was detonated, injuring both men. One man will, reportedly, need to have his right leg amputated. In the 1970s Chilean dictator Augusto Pinochet placed tens of thousands of landmines along the border with Peru during tense times between the two countries. In February a 27-year-old Peruvian man was killed by a landmine as he crossed illegally from Peru into Chile. In 2012 the border crossing between the southern city of Tacna and Chile's northern city of Arica was closed after heavy rains washed some of those mines onto the highway. In 2002 Chile signed the Ottawa Treaty, which banned the use of anti-personnel mines. Chile's signing requires the country to remove all anti-personnel mines from its territory by 2020. Anti-personnel mines cannot distinguish between civilians and soldiers. Reads the Red Cross profile on mines aimed to injure or kill humans as opposed to debilitate tanks or vehicles. They continue to kill civilians long after the fighting has ceased. Vast areas of valuable land are put out of use. Communities can be affected for decades after the end of an armed conflict. Quote, the Chilean army has removed a total of 130,000 mines since 2002. El Comercio reports that 20,000 of the remaining 50,000 mines are placed near the border with Peru. Pinochet also planted mines near the border in Bolivia and Argentina. Visit at www.perunustoday.com. Also follow O in Facebook and Twitter.